Well, Charles, tonight won't quite grab the headlines like uh, the 6 0 made it on Saturday, but it's another clean sheet, a last minute winner, and uh, another three points. Must be delighted. Yeah, um, I, I suppose from the potential away games we've had, though we've missed chances, um, to be able to stick one in uh, right at the end there and probably get a result that we didn't deserve um, is, is massively pleasing. Um, it was it was always going to be a tough game. I, I spoke about it before the game in, in, in the, up in the um, hospitality. Been there in the last year. Both teams come here after really good results on Saturday. Um, both with really good defensive records, um, and it looked like it was going to be a bit of a, a bit of a damp squib nil nil. Um, but like I said, we've managed to keep going, persevere. Zane's made a great run, got himself in down the down the down the left hand side, squared a ball back, and and Rowie's thankfully bobbled one into the corner. So we'll take it. Um, like I say, it, it doesn't matter how you win games. I'd love us and I want us to, to win in a better manner and performance wise I think that if we can produce um, close to our best then we have a good chance of um, of winning games tonight's not been one of them but we've still managed to, to get over the line which is um, like I say really pleasing As you mentioned tonight it was a game between two teams where you could tell there was a reason why they'd had such a good uh, defensive record this season Gates had a couple of really good chances of particularly in the first half the shot off the bar and uh, one off the line in the second half. Would it be fair to say that in previous seasons we might not have kept a clean sheet in them sort of games? Possibly. Um, I, I, I thought I thought we started the game really well. Ten minutes, Nick's had a, a great strike, comes out to, to, to Rowey uh, and Zane's going down the side and, you, and, and, and squared it and Bondy should, should probably score. And then from then we lost the... We lost the arm wrestle, if you like. They got on top. They competed better than what we did. They won the battle. They worked harder than us. The front two, I think, epitomised everything they did. And they were a real, a real threat in the fact that they just worked their socks off, um, and caused our centre halves problems without great quality into them, if you like, just by being a nuisance. Um, we had obviously had a chat at half time, second half, as the game progressed and we made changes we started to get a little bit of a foothold and if if I was looking at it the last 10 minutes is probably the the, 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 the time when we've created most situations that we've had in the whole game because they've worked the like I say worked the socks off and looked tired at the end and got a little bit deep and allowed us to get our full back side up um, and that was the time when we had some we had some opportunities thankfully we got that one last opportunity and managed to stick it away. Uh, Substitution in the second half, uh, Joe Cartel and Sir Atazami coming on, they really seem to, like I said, give us that extra bit of advantage and that, that uh, spark that we needed, particularly with the Sir Atazami. It must be really pleasing to see him kick on from what was a really good year last year as well. It was. I think Tugs, um, has, uh, like I say, when he, when, he, when he came on in games last year, he really affected them. Uh, and as, as, a, as an impact sub, did really, really well. I think there's been games um, towards the end of last year and the start of this year where he started. And as we would expect, he, he, he's looked a little bit like a, a 17, 18 year old and he's been a little bit up and down. And I think we, we chatted in the summer with him around his mentality of starting football matches. I think he was probably a little bit safe because he didn't want to be changed or but ultimately he's an attacking player and we want him to take chances in the final third. That's the the, the easiest thing to do is to pass backwards and pass sideways and you, you can't especially in forward areas, you can't um if he's gonna go to the level that, that he potentially can, he's gotta back himself. Um so he's the goal on Saturday will have done him hopefully done him the, the world of good. Um He's had another couple of opportunities t tonight that he, he snatched that a little bit. He's been training really, really well and probably just needed needed that goal. Um, and hopefully, like I say, from Saturday and a little bit of a cameo tonight, it will it will kick him on. Um, he's, like I say, he's, he's got a, a really bright future ahead of him. And we know what he can potentially give us. He is that a little bit of an impact um, when, he's, when he's coming on. We were obviously... Being at home and the game being nil nil, we try to make positive changes. We try to change the, um, I suppose, momentum and flow of the game. We've never always been great against the, a back three, a back five, if you like, because 
we don't have natural width with our, our wing our wingers. Um, we often play them opposite sides and, and a little bit inverted. Um, but like I say, we've managed to get a chance and um, and to grab it and, and get three points is, is massive. A uh, quick word on side, so the uh, six 0 win at Maidenhead. We struggled to score away from home, particularly this season. It must have been uh, a shock, even for you, the the manner of the the, of the win on Saturday. Um, it, not not really a, a shock. Um, we've struggled to score away from home, but we've missed some absolute howlers. Um, a lot of them being away from home, and even on Saturday, their, their keeper, in fairness. Probably stop the stop the score being double figures. Um, what we did do Saturday was just pleasing. As we started the game really, really well, we we got people running forward. We got the game stretched, which suits us. Um, and then once they went down to ten men, we were really, really ruthless and really clinical and showed a, a professionalism um, and a real desire to want to go and put a team to the sword in the right in the right manner. That was the big pleasing thing for us because even with like I say, ten men. It's easy to take your foot off the gas and think you're in for an easy afternoon. That was, the, like I said, the, the big thing for me. Saturday was the second half and how we how we moved the ball. You then come into tonight's game thinking to carry on from that would be would be great, and it just hasn't hasn't worked for us. Um, and again, it's different opposition. It's a different evening. It's it, it is what it is. It's it's been it's been quite a frustrating one, but we don't expect it to be easy here. We expect teams to to come and make it difficult for us um, people spoke about our defensive record and I think it's probably as a like I say in a small way a result of what we did what we did last year and the fact that teams know that we we like to be open and expansive and like to try and make the game as open as we can and people have been a little bit more wary of that um, and set up differently and said go on then come and try and try and beat us and whatever level you're at um, that's difficult. We showed that last year in the FA Cup games when we played against against Wigan. If you set up and are difficult to break down, um, it can be it can be quite frustrating. Um, and we found that at times. But like I say tonight, we've we've kept going um, and got a result. Probably over the, the course of the season, we've spoken about results we potentially could have had and could have won. Um, tonight, we've we've probably got three when we only when we looked like we were going to get and probably only deserved one. And the uh, two results uh, this weekend have uh, really set nicely for the uh, Saturday game. It's late already. A team that have been in the top three or four all year. It's going to be a, uh, a big game. Yeah, it is. Um, like I say, it sets it up nicely. But us, uh, I think, three points behind them. Um, so an opportunity for us to to get level and push them up at the weekend. Um, but hopefully, be a, a good crowd here. They're a, they're a good side. And like I say, I watched a little bit of them this afternoon. Um, and we've obviously got reports on them, but. Again, from reports to reports, the the well well managed, well coached, really really organised. It's going to be a really really tough game for us. But one we're looking forward to. It's a different challenge again from what tonight's been, um, and we'll put a plan in place on over the next day or so, and we'll try and carry that out and have a look at it on, on Thursday and Friday, and and hopefully go and go and try and win the game on Saturday.